Hey, what's up, guys? Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews, and here I have five different 2016 Android TV boxes. I'll be doing a comparison and sharing with you what I believe to be the best Android TV box from these units. So I've already done full reviews for each of these boxes. I'll leave the links in the descriptions in case you would like to see them. I have successfully played and streamed 4K Ultra HD movies and videos on all five of these boxes, and they played very well. I've also tested 3D gaming and played Dead Trigger 2, Jurassic World and a few other games on all of these boxes and they all played very well. So let's move on to the differences. So the first obvious difference is, is the actual physical appearance, the actual size of the units. So let's do a quick comparison on that. As you can see the two largest ones are the MXQ and the Rupert Pyramid A5. They are more or less the same size. and they also share exactly the same ports. And both of these units have four USB ports and everything else is the same. They're similar specs both of these units so they both got 1 GB RAM and 8 GB ROM. So the next size down from these large ones is this. This is, I would say is medium. So if we compare it to the two larger boxes you will see that there's not a great difference but it is slimmer. So these three are the smallest in size. All three of these have two USB ports and everything else is the same. The difference is so out of the three these two are the smallest and the lightest. That's as compact as you're going to get. If you compare to the larger box you'll see a huge difference in size so that's the physical differences okay so all of these processors in these units are quad core and run to a maximum of two gigahertz what will differentiate these boxes is the ram so these two are one gb ram and so is this one if i put that there just to compare so these three boxes here for the mxq the Rupa Pyramid A5 and the next smart that are 1 GB RAM. So there's 8 GB of space for you to download your apps and your programs. So realistically after all the system OS files um, you're left with about between 4 and 5 gigs to play with on these boxes here. Which is a bit of a shame because if you want to install a game, a few games, your box will be full. Okay now these two at the bottom, the TX5 Pro and the Ariela. I'll just show you the size difference as well. Okay, everything is virtually the same between these two boxes apart from the size and the finish. So this has a black shiny finish and this is a matte finish. Okay, both of these boxes, the TX5 Pro and the Ariela, are 2 GB RAM and they have 16 GB of internal space. And um, realistically, you're looking at about, after system files, you're looking at about between 12 and 13 gigs of free space, which is a lot more than, than the above units. So in real world use, does the RAM make a difference in performance? So these are 2 GB and the top three are 1 GB. Um, it does make a difference only when you're multitasking. For example, so if you're in Google Play Store and you're installing an app, if you then try and minimize and open something else, you're going to see a lot of lag. But if you be patient and you let the app install and you've run one program at a time, then you've got no problem they will function exactly the same and perform exactly the same because they all have the same graphics chip. So all of these boxes will have the same graphics processor which is the Pentacore ARM Mali 450 um, with speeds up to 750 megahertz. The CPU is just slightly different on each one but they all operate at quad core speeds of up to 2 gigahertz. So the only thing differentiating them is the RAM and the space you got inside the box. I think it's really important when choosing an Android TV box is how much space you have in the box because if you do choose any of the above three units after installing maybe two big games you will have no more space um, to install any more apps until you delete. So I like the flexibility of these two. 16 GB is more than sufficient for my needs. I could I installed four big games straight away and I still had a lot of space left um, for my media files. The plus point of all of these units is you've got USB ports so you can plug in USB hard drives and USB pens and you can have all your multimedia playing directly off the USB. The space may not affect all of you out there but if you're going to be installing large games from the Google Play Store then I definitely recommend getting either TX5 Pro or their Realer. 
Okay, so I just want to have a quick look at the remote controls you get with each unit and how responsive they were. So first of all, the MXQ Pro 4K came with this remote. So this is a full featured remote. So you can program this remote to control your television and you can use these functions on your TV and the rest of the functions will work on your Android TV box. So this remote control was not as responsive as I'd like it to be and every time I use it I would have to make sure I'm aiming at the TV box. So that was a bit of a pain and therefore I decided not to use this remote control with this box and I just used either an external mouse or, or one of these um, two-in-one devices with a mouse and a keyboard in one. So that's the MXQ remote. The next one we got is the Rupa Pyramid A5. This is a very basic remote control as you can see if we compare it to a full featured remote but it was very responsive and just worked. So you've got all the functions in there that matter the home button, the back button, volume, um, the navigation, mute, power and the mouse control. So it may not be full featured remote but it was very responsive so that was definitely a plus sign. The next smart 4K box comes with this remote. So you've got black and purple. Um, again, it's a very basic remote, but if we compare it to this basic one, it's got all the same functions, but just laid out differently, and it was very responsive as well, so I was happy with that remote control. Um, these two at the bottom, the two, two GB units, they share exactly the same remote. So if I put this one down, it's a full-featured remote. If I compare it to the first full-featured remote, you see the differences. This this remote is actually better. It's got a Kodi button on there. Okay, so you press that and the Kodi will just open. Again, you can control your television from the top controls. You've got the mouse control, same as that. Um, this is a full featured but very responsive remote. You don't you don't have to um, make sure you're you're aimed at the box. It's very responsive. In fact, all of these remote controls here were responsive and worked very well apart from this remote control for the MXQ Pro. So that's the remote controls. Um, so this keyboard, I've also reviewed this. I'll, I'll leave the links in the description in case you want to check this item out. You can plug this USB dongle into any of these devices and it will enable you to use your Android TV box much easier. You have a mouse pad, mouse buttons, you've got a full key, QWERTY keyboard here, volume control, skip tracks, play pause and navigational. Very useful device and the best thing about it is it's got rechargeable batteries so you don't even have to buy batteries for this and the batteries last on one charge I've used it for over a week and I still haven't had to charge it again awesome device I'll leave the links in the description for this okay so that was my comparison video for these five Android TV boxes for 2016 so which one is the best box in my opinion my my personal opinion is these two the Ariela and the TX5 Pro. So these two are, in my opinion, the best of these, best of the bunch. I've given you my reasons why I think they're the best. If you'd like to see the individual reviews for any of these Android TV boxes, you'll see the links in the description. So in those reviews, you will see me test each of these boxes for gaming, video playback, and HD streaming. So based on my experiences, the TX5 Pro and the Real Air are the best Android TV boxes for 2016 in, from this bunch that I've reviewed. You can see the individual reviews for each of these boxes in the link description. That doesn't mean the others aren't good. The others can handle everything that the TX5 and the Real Air can handle, but I've given my pros and cons for these boxes in their reviews. And, and what makes these stand out is the extra space that you have built into the system and the 2GB RAM does make a difference when you're multitasking. So that was my comparison video for the best Android TV box of 2016 from this bunch. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you choose your Android TV box. Thank you so much for watching and have a brilliant day.